All right, so I already kind of started working on this thing, and I got stuck on one of the bolts, but I think I might have a solution. So here is one of the Goldwing engines that I have here. This one's not bad. I, I, I think the only thing wrong with this one is it's got something wrong with the transmission. Uh, I've got my Goldwing over there. It's got its own problems too. But took the carbs off that one and I'm pulling it apart so I can salvage. Uh, basically I'm rebuilding all the carbs here and I just have to get one of these, as you can see, the end broke off, which happens, so. Let's just hope and pray this works. Come on, girl. Yeah, we got her. Woo! <laughs> Oh man, that didn't work. I didn't know what I was gonna do. That's the that's the impossible the impossible screw on this one. I think all the other ones I got loose. So. All right, let's move on to pulling the rest of her apart. Okay, uh, it's good to work. So before I started recording, all I did was just pop the boots off and uh, get a couple of the uh, control arm bars for the, or a couple of the control arms for the um, throttle. Since these throttles are seized, I can't, you know, can't get them to move. I've been trying to juice them a little bit. They've been not really moving at all. A um, <clears throat> cool little trick, by the way, if, uh, if you're working on these, now you see these right here. One of the most difficult things to do here. So you get this boot on here and you might be thinking like, oh man, you know, you're never going to get that thing off, right? Why is he putting them back on there? So they're really hard to get on there. Well, I'll show you the easiest way, the quickest way to get these off in an instant. So, so this one's all the way on there. It's locked in there, right? You twist it back and forth to make sure it's just broke free. Then you take a simple standard, this is just a Craftsman three quarters inch chisel. And then you take a eight inch pry and you set them just like this. And all you gotta do is squeeze. And as you squeeze, it will lift and open and pull just like that and up she comes. Now you want to be careful you don't push too hard because you can actually crack the the um, mixture uh, guide there for the screw so you want to be kind of gentle and not overdo it there. Start pulling the stuff apart. So we're gonna move these four screws here that hold the internal uh, catch. This is like the inside the plenum airspace. So these both crack apart, uh, like you saw me demonstrate there a second ago. It it, uh, it impossible to get these out um, if they've been sitting from the factory like this one has for 35 years you're not going to get them out any other way. So we'll zip these out real quick. So now you can see basically down in there those four screws 
hold the plenum's ha uh, airspace half that each half of the chamber against the carb body there. So once you pull those four out, you can just use your little dead blow hammer there or a mal uh, soft mallet and just give it a couple little. And as you lift up, there's a little uh, guide channel in there and it will yep, pop off just like that. And you should see there's O-ring and these are important. You have to make sure you don't lose these or you replace these. There's one there, there's this ring, that ring, and then there's another little guy there and those are the most common uh, when people rebuild them they they always 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 forget to put those in and they're often not included in rebuild kits so definitely don't forget those now notice this right here that's just a dead end there's nothing there so that doesn't have any it's the one on the opposite side that you got to make sure now you can look you can see down in these these things are they're getting ugly in there. So let's go ahead and separate these. I'm a little bit worried about this one with the rust and everything. I might have to do a little bit more effort to salvage. Oops. Come on. It's um, it's the sleeve that's just sitting in there. It's hung up. Sometimes they get a little. Oh, there it goes. They get stuck, or the O-ring will get stuck. All right, set that aside. Make sure we don't lose the. Do that one. I guess it doesn't matter. Yeah, these definitely have some water in them. Pull that one out for now. Wow, look at that. That's rusted. That's what I was worried about. You can see how bad those are in there. Let's throw some juice on there. And I've seen worse, so. So right now it's bad, but salvageable. Might be able to salvage that gasket. That gasket's not in bad shape, actually. I'm surprised. That tells you in the parts cleaning bin. Pop you off. Pop that one off. You're on the parts cleaning bin.